All right, well, I hope you like that little slide of a new pics of stuff coming up. Ugh, oh, jeebus. Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Deluxe. All right, gonna do another What's New in Transformers, and we got some couple good things in the mix. So before that, go to hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and sub for me. Really appreciate that. Hit that little bell, it notifies new content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. In the description, easy peasy. All right. Okay, so what's new in Transformers? Basically, where I do a little overview of new stuff coming out in Transformers. I don't have it in hand, just gonna talk about it a little bit. So, we got some new stuff from MP. Plus. Uh, we got a new Piranacon, some new pics of that stuff, and World's Smallest. All right, well, let's take a look at what we got. Here we go. All right, up first, we got some new pics of Piranacon, King Poseidon whatever you want to call them, the sea con so right here we got some pictures of it looks like the leader snap trap and scalor and they got a combined mode back there in the back and everything so you can see them in bot mode and they're alt mode so that, you know looks pretty good i'm kind of excited for these i know they're going to be retools of the terracons but hopefully the single bot modes will be good and we'll see about the combined mode so there's an up close and up close and personal pick of the uh, head sculpt and the body and everything for uh, uh, Piranacon, so that's pretty cool. Looks really loud. I like that head sculpt. So here's a closer pick up of a uh, Scalor. Uh, very nice. Looks like he's a little thick. He's got some stuff on his back. It looks like a bunch of it's going to be on his back and everything. But the head sculpt looks nice. And here's a closer pick of his alt mode also. So it looks like a fish kind of thing going on. I don't know. Kind of fugly looking, but. There you go. There's the alt mode of Scalor. And this is very interesting. We are getting new hands and feet for this guy. So if you know that the, from the Powder Primes and the Combiner Wars, they were hands and feet were made, you know, they could, you know, interchange and do both of them. So it looks like we have articulated fingers and it looks like we got some wider feet. So hopefully it'll be more stable uh, than they was with the uh, Combiner Wars stuff and everything. So that's pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to that. I want to see how that's going to work and everything. So. There is a Piranacon. And then up next, we have some another a new pick of MP19 Plus. This is the Plus version of Smokescreen. So I guess they're doing all of the cars and everything. So it looks like he's got a new head sculpt. It uh, looks like the uh, shoulder cans are different and his gun is going to be different. So he's more tune accurate. That's what they're going for with these uh, Plus versions. Um, I'm fine with my original one. Looks like, you know, we're getting some Plus versions of everything. I wish we'd get some new molds, but... Anyway, then up next is pretty cool. We're getting some world's smallest transformers. And it looks like we have uh, Bumblebee and Smokescreen. And there's look, it looks like there's a pink one back in the behind Bumblebee. I don't know, would that be RC maybe? I really can't tell. It looks like a Power Ranger to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so we got Bumblebee and uh, Starscream coming. I'm definitely in for Starscream. And uh, that's pretty cool. I like them, these little world's smallest and everything. So. We got that. So up next we got some third party news. Uh, Deep Space Arsenal, DSA. Uh, we've got a new Nighthawk. Uh, basically this is Nightbird. Uh, we got some early development picks and everything. So some renders and everything. Um, so yeah, I guess this is gonna be non-transformable. It's gonna be like a Flames Toys kind of thing. Um, she's gonna come with a bunch of details and everything. You know, she's gonna be high, probably highly detailed and um, articulated and everything. And uh, she's coming with a bunch of weapons and all that good stuff. So they'll be able to store on her or on a backpack or something like that. Uh, they're also doing clear yellow eyes for the and light piping. So it's going to be roughly a chug scale, um, roughly with RC and a kind of an MP scale. So probably go with the uh, MMC one, uh, Azalea. I guess that could probably be a type of chug, almost MP kind of style and everything. So yeah, if you uh, like something like this, this is pretty cool. Um, I, I might pick this up. I don't know. We'll see. I've never bought anything from DSA, so uh, hit me up in the comments if anybody got anything from them or you know how they are, stuff like that. So Then something up uh, for Mega Toy Fan is exclusive. This is a, it used to be called Pete's Robocon or something like that. Basically, it used to be, it used to be BotCon also. The guys that, some of the people that ran BotCon, I guess, and they're doing this now in Kentucky, which is this weekend. And uh, be safe out there. Stasis Lock is going out there. They're a uh, Beast Wars podcast and really some good friends of mine. So there's going to be this uh, exclusive for a hammer for Beast Wars Masterpiece Donobot. 
So it looks pretty cool. Here's the bag and everything. And here he is out of the bag and everything. So these are handmade. Uh, there's only gonna be 15. It looks like there's the number one. They're gonna have a little card that says one out of 15. And there's another angle of it. Yes. It's pretty neat, pretty, pretty cool. If you, if you have an MP down pot, which I do, uh, this pretty be pretty cool to uh, add to your collection for that guy. And there he is holding it, and down pot figure is not included. Oh, that's a shame. And there's another pick holding the axe and everything, so there you go. And like I said, it's available at Robocon 2019 this weekend. 15 pieces, $10, that's not bad. Golly, I would pay that for that. Individually numbered, uh, each handmade. No two are the same, that's pretty cool. First come, first serve at Mega Toy Fan Parts Party, and uh, which Mega the Toy Fan is a good dude. Uh, go check him out, uh, and the stock will be made after the show if you want to get one. Uh, so uh, reach out to Stasis Lock if you want one of these. If they have some, I doubt it, they'll probably be sold out, uh, but it's pretty cool. They're being made, so I just wanted to give a shout out to those guys. All right, there's a couple things coming up, man. Thank you, and I hope you like this. All right, well, I hope you like that little slideshow of new stuff coming up for Transformers. Yay! I'll get excited about doing this stuff, man. So, we got some new pics of uh, the um, Piranacon, King Poseidon. It's, uh, you know, the Seacons um, and everything. They're coming out. So, they showed us a uh, kind of a combined mold with one of the limbs, I think the leg, and they showed the body and the head and everything. It looks decent. Um, they are going to be retools of more than likely the uh, uh, Abominus, you know, the Terracons and everything. I wasn't too you know i was i was happy with the uh single molds like i you know they were pretty good you know as bot or as the, their alt molds but the combined mold just wasn't that good but they are making new hands and new feet for this so the finger fingers are t articulated they're not the same ones we got from powder primes and combined awards where you can use them as a feet or hand those are kind of trashy but it looks like we got some new hands and some like wider feet so it's going to be more stable so hopefully the combined mode will be good you know i, I would like a nice little set of a uh, secons i would like to have a uh you know bigger one like an mp scaled one but this will do so we'll see uh, they look pretty good they're decent and everything but like i said they are retools of the terracons so we'll see uh, we have MP19 Plus, so the, the smoke screen is getting a plus version. We knew it was going to come, so they're doing all of them there thing. I, I mean, it's got a new head sculpt and it's probably going to you know, more tune accurate and everything. I, I really don't care. I mean, my smoke screen is just fine. Um, but what do y'all think about the plus versions now, man? They're doing all and everything. Everybody's getting the, you know, the cars and now they're doing this. And it's like, I want some new molds to car. Come on, please, man. Let, let's, you're better than this. You're better than this. But that's available and everything. If I would get one, it'd be Will Jack anyways, the plus version. Um, I think that one looks pretty good. But other than that, I'm not really that interested in the plus version. So, and we got the new world smallest. They look pretty cool. Got Bumblebee and got Starscream when they shown that. And everything. So, I'm, you know, I'm in for Starscream. Hopefully they'll come over here and we can get some. If not, I'll try to get them overseas and everything. And we got some other stuff. You know, I'm really excited for everything. Um, big shout out. They got a, uh, they showed, I showed an exclusive for the uh, MP Dinobot. It uh, looks pretty cool. Like, let me to like 15 so i know my boys over in stasis lock they're gonna be uh, a couple of them are going over to the this uh pecan i think that was called uh but yeah i hope that more likely they'll probably try to get this exclusive so good luck with those and y'all be safe and everything i wish i can go with y'all but just couldn't make it so uh big shout out to stasis lock and everything and uh about the bomb uh, not the bomb i'm sorry the uh the piranha con uh big shout out to uh, spiros he uh said that there's a rumor that there's going to be a box set so that's pretty cool I would like it to be like 100, 120. That would be pretty cool. But you know what the car right now, the prices, uh, you can see it going up to 160 or 180. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be, you know, reasonably priced and everything. Get the, you know, fan bro price, you know, whatever you want to get and everything. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to some of this stuff. It's really exciting. You know, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I always love doing this new stuff and everything, you know, new stuff coming out and all that good stuff. So hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you think or which one are y'all excited about. Or y'all don't even care, you know, just, you know, whatever. But anyways, go ahead and hit with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And go down there and sub for me. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to get 2,000 subs, and I'm almost there. I just need a little little more, a little couple more and everything, and I'll be there. Uh, and more. I would like to go to, you know, 5,000, 10,000. It doesn't matter. I would like my channel to blow up. It would be pretty cool. But anyways, thank y'all so much. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.